Hello and welcome back to Robert's Rebellion. In between episodes, I have looked at the brother of our cheating wife, Jamie Lannister, and I've been trying to figure out what we can do to him, because right now it seems like our options are extremely limited. Can we punish him? No, we can't punish him. We've tried it, it failed. Can we murder him? Well, maybe, but that's not really the path that you would expect Robert to take, so let's look for other options. Can we challenge him to a fight? We can, however, doesn't do anything. It just allows you to challenge your rival to a duel inflicting stress. You can't actually kill him, so that doesn't do anything. Can we imprison him? Well, no, no we can't imprison him because our imprisonment chance is negative 73. Now, uh, this negative opinion modifier is the main thing that we could change. Um, that is equal to half of his opinion. Now, if you calculate this all out, and I think I've done it right, I believe this means that we, if we got him to a hundred opinion, he would have a um, zero percent success chance on here of us imprisoning him, which is not ideal. Basically, it means we're kind of screwed, right, in terms of being able to do it. I guess we could raise our intrigue and make it a one percent, but it's a one percent for a singular roll because every time we try to in imprison him, it um like it lowers his opinion of us. Although it says he would leave. Uh, court right now. I'm awaiting a response regarding another matter. Am I? Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. Is he in our court currently? He is. Let's see whether that's true. It does say he'll leave our court. I don't think it will. I think we've already tested this, but okay, we'll try it. And then we'll work out what to do with our wife. So I'm going to wait a second or two. I failed to punish him. Ah, I see. Okay. So in prison, we're awaiting response regarding another matter. I'm no longer wounded. Am I still awaiting a response regarding another matter? No, so I could imprison him. If you fail to imprison him, he will leave your court. I disagree. He avoided capture, and he did not leave our court. Okay, so that does absolutely nothing. We kind of knew that already, we've already tried it, but we're just trying all the options that make sense first, before we look for some weird way around it. So as far as I see it, the only way that we can make him leave his post as Lord Commander of the King's Guard and in any way punish him is by murdering him. I don't think there's any other option, right? Because there's just nothing we can do. Um, I have looked at this and it says a King's Guard serves for life unless you break with that tradition. I'm fairly certain that it means tradition in the generalized sense, not tradition in kind of the traditions bit here sense. Uh, but... I haven't found a way to break with tradition. I don't really know how we would do that. There's nothing here that seems obvious to me. Um, there's nothing here that seems obvious to me. I've looked around. I looked in here a little bit and was like, yeah, nothing seems obvious. Yeah, they're not like actual vassals, so we can't change their vassal contracts. I mean, I don't know. There, there just doesn't seem to be anything that's extremely obvious. We should probably fill in some of these positions as well, actually, now that I'm looking at these as well. But yeah, nothing seems obvious about this here. Just double checking. Yeah, nothing seems obvious, so I don't know. I don't know. I guess we will just simply uh, try and kill him. That, that's our plan. So, Jamie Lannister, murder. 74% is not bad. Let's switch our counselor on to helping with the scheme. Uh, I actually might put it to 100. Well, close enough. Uh, we can invite uh, Richard Horp. Let's invite him in. That's fine. Our officer of arms. We'll see how that goes. So we're at 95%. Okay, so he's going to get murdered. Now, before we go and have a look at Cersei, I actually want to have a look at this one. Maybe this is why we're not getting uh, as many events. Maybe we need to fill in these court positions. And then they'll start giving us cool events to do. That might be something. Are there any of these that are worth doing immediately? I think this one, Domain Taxes, 10% to 35%. Definitely, I'll take that. We've only got a Best of Poor. How much would he give it? He gives us 15% Domain Taxes. Uh, how much are we making there right now? Making 10.3. So 15% of that. I think he pays for his... I think he pays for his uh, salary. Yeah, he does. Okay, so that works. So that's, that's a good one. We could put in wardens of uh, all the directions. That's probably worth doing. Anything else immediately worth doing here? 
probably don't need ladies in waiting, I would imagine. Food taster, knight effectiveness, kennel master, architect, seneschal, cupbearer, fool. Um, hmm. I don't know. Right, let's go up here. We are a little low on money coming in per month, so we'll think about this. Let's maybe go captain of the household guard. Yeah, you know what? Let's make that barrister in the bold. That makes sense. Right. Uh, keeper of the cells makes our hostile schemes more successful. Make that dick on. Okay. You can put in wardens of all the directions. We'll leave that for right now. Actually, no, we could put in wardens. That's kind of something that we should do. So warden of the north should be... Oh, you. I guess in a couple of years. Warden of the east. Uh, that should be like John Aaron or I guess it could be Stannis. Let's make that Stannis for just now. It'll be my Warden of the East. Warden of the West is going to be, well, I guess it should be Tywin. But we'll make, you know what, we'll make that Roderick. Warden of the South, uh, the Reach or Dorne I would reckon. We're looking for the people who should hold these positions. Um, let's make that Prince Doran. Sure. That's fine. Commander of the Gold Cloaks. You're the only person who can have this position for whatever reason. Okay, well, oh, is it because you've got this title, maybe? Hmm. Okay, well, you can be Commander of the Gold Cloaks. Don't have ladies in waiting. Uh, don't really need any of the rest of these. These are all just kind of. Yeah, a lot of these are ones that were in. Um. Yeah, in the base game, so I'm not too worried about them. Yeah, I think most of those are in the base game. Let's just fill in some and see how it looks. Right. Oh, there we go. Court event. Courtier scorned. My rival Jamie Lannister is livid. Apparently been certain the honour would befall him. What to become what? what? What did I even make you? Made you keeper of the cells. I'm going to be master of the horse? No, I'm going to say... Go away, Jamie Lannister. Did you not know I'm about to kill you? Right. Cersei. Um, I think really there's only one option to deal with Cersei. Execute her. It is an act of tyranny, but, you know, I think that's a fair act of tyranny. So she is now dead. My alliance with Tywin is over. He's probably a little bit hacked off. Yeah, mostly. Mostly hacked off. Jamie Lannister uh, absolutely despises us, which you would expect. Yeah, as does Tyrion to a degree. We've, we've got our children being educated by him. Hmm, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Now, um, we could go in there here and we could be like, well, I'm going to disinherit all the people who don't have uh, the same hair color as Robert as you would in the books, potentially. But uh, as... Crusader Kings doesn't actually work that way. We don't know who's our child and who isn't, so effectively we're just going to leave it as is, and if we find any information, then we will work on the information we're given. Essentially. Right. Oh, are people still into this plot? Oh yeah, they're into that plot. We'll probably remarry in, in a little bit. We'll just give it a you know little bit before we do that. Uh, you've arrived at the Red Keep to pay homage. Perfect. Uh, well, you fell over. What a shambles. Okay. We are a little low on money right now. It's not, idea. uh, not ideal. You know what, actually? Tywin. I'm going to use my hook on you, and I'm going to use it to get more taxes out of you. Just as, like, an, an extra punishment on here. Let's do that. Now we've got some more money coming in. Kingsguard assignment. Oh, I guess you were protecting uh, Cersei. Never mind. That's fine. You're good to go. Empty accusations. My master of whispers had the Septon brought forth for revelation and judgment of a grand conspiracy. However, when the Septon refused to confess, Lord Lucerus had absolutely no evidence or support for his accusations. Please stop embarrassing me. Yes, please stop embarrassing me. Uh, the Lord Commander has won another war. Okay, fantastic. Clear these out. Carrying on. Just wait for a plot to finish. The Trappings of Majesty. I stand above my subjects as a sovereign ruler, unequaled in the realm. Dressing the part of resplendent garments and jewellery would serve as a subtle reminder to everyone I'm in charge. I do not need things to legitimize my rule. I'm okay with without that. That's fine. Right. Education at an end. 
My ward Luke has come of age and it's time he left my care. For the longest time I was hoping that a good tutelage would be enough to teach Luke the intricacies of diplomacy. All efforts have come to naught however. Few at court would be overly impressed by his grasp of etiquette, but at least he does know how to hold his own in polite conversation. So you got kind of a bad diplomacy education which to be fair kind of lines up given that we're the person who educated him. He's gone off to be a septum. Right, uh, I'm going to take Groom to Rule. It's a great single perk. Because what it does is it gives all of these people a little extra, um, like, just boost to their stats. Which just seems good, right? There's no real downside to that. Uh, hold, oh. Guess somebody else started holding a tourney by the fact that that disappeared so quickly. That's fine. Uh, nothing we need to worry about here. Uninvited. One of my agents has acquired a deadly spider and arranged for a servant to hide it in Jamie's bed. Please kill him. Um, I'm guessing that... Oh, there we go. Right. Jamie is dead by the bite of a lethal spider. Fantastic. Where do we even start? Let's, let's move this one out of the way for just now. An oath fulfilled. Jamie. My rival Jamie has fulfilled his solemn oath and has departed this world under the mantle of a white cloak. Or of his white cloak. Jamie died of unknown causes. He was a warrior of incredible renown. Those who had the fortune to see him with a blade in hand described him as having fought like the warrior incarnate. His steel and I rest alongside him, but it will echo in the minds of young warriors across the realm for centuries. With his departure to the Seven Heavens, the duty now falls to fill the vacancy among the renowned ranks of the white cloaks. Um, please send people uh, to uh, petition for the job. Okay, now we have to find the person to fill the leadership of the um, King's Guard. Jonathan would seem like the best man for the job. And is expected by most to succeed uh, Jamie as Lord Commander. So Jonathan Darry. He is the oldest, it would make sense. We could of course put in Pierce the Knight of the Pantry Peasbury if we wanted to. Um, and John Mertens. Let's let's go for Jonathan. Sure. Oh, somebody had a question actually a while back. Uh, let me just see. Somebody was asking me whether uh, Howland Reed got um, John Snow in his court. Uh, there's Jory Snow. Uh, I believe the answer is no. But I'm just double checking now while we have a chance, just because I got reminded by Jonathan. No. The answer, I believe, is no. As to that one. Don't know what's meant to happen after that event. We would have to play the other side to find out. But, yeah, no. Bestowing the mantle. Okay. Well, who are we going to put in charge? We could put in Ebert. Uh, Whitehill. Or who are we going to put in our King's Guard? Uh, Walter Stillman. Or Philip Foote. Uh, none of these will do. Bring me a new set. None of them are good at fighting. Court grandeur increased, apparently. Uh, can I put in somebody here? Nope. Okay, hopefully we get an event soon then. Or Kingsguard will just stay empty forever, I guess. Uh, Lord Marek, that's fine. Uh, I don't see anything here that says that we can do anything like that. Nothing here for bringing in Kingsguard. Maybe it'll, every couple of months it'll check in. Develop capital, I say no. That's fine. We can declare war on Craster. I don't really need to declare war on Craster, but what could it for a chieftain folks claims? I don't really see a need to do that. That seems uh, unnecessary. Lines about legacy. I'm not going to read your poetry. So is our Kingsguard just... Uh, I was going to say permanently empty. Don't know. Anyway. The Flower of the Ruins. Once the seat of a noble house, the ruins uh, are now a place visited and used by local small folk. While our rebuilding efforts have caused some discord among the locals, a local girl has been a bridge between us. Gifted with a musical talent, she has won over my courtiers and knights that are working on the ruins. Today she began playing a harp, one of the workers had, and all stopped to listen to her play. Could be a break from our building, or such talent would be welcomed at my court. So we can make you our poet. Um, 
Sure, you can be my poet. That's fine. Why don't we have a poet? You want to go to your feast? Sure, I'll go to your feast. Why not? That's fine. The Dilemma. Uh, the feast is swindling down. I find myself deep in conversation with my uh, fanatical acquaintance, Lady Janice. Uh, she inquired about my opinion on the blessings of family, a subject she's deeply interested in herself. I don't know. Let, let's say that we're more interested in her. Why not? Troubled Vassal. Um, the pleading gaze I received from my vassal, Stefan, is taking on a desperate tone. A group of guests are approaching the corner he has hidden all evening, and the walls are hindering his escape. Uh, let's get him to tell us the story. I don't know. Let's try and create some uh, chaos. Also, you should probably move back to that. Uh, they're thinking about chaos. Okay. Uh, this is fine. It, again, support for conversion. Doesn't really bother me. Returning home. We have returned home. The feast is over. That's fine. We can hold a grand tourney. I don't think we need to. Court grandeur just decreased. Why? Who knows? Uh, it's just a random thing that happens to us. Like, it doesn't tell... There must be events happening in the background. But, like, for some reason, this just keeps dropping, right? It should stay up here for no... Like, there's no reason for it to keep dropping. I don't know. It's also suggested we change from a warlike court to something else, like a intrigue court, just while I'm here. Currently don't have the prestige, but... Yeah, I'm not against it, necessarily. If we're not going to do wars, this would be more interesting, but I don't know. It's not really uh, a Robert-type thing to do. Oh! John Iron died. Okay. So he has died, and Pierce of the Veil is taken over. Okay. Um, so it's Pierce Allen. Or Aaron. Um, okay. And a faction's been created against you. Your vassal, Lord Paramount Tywin, has created the faction to install Jason on the Iron Throne against you. Okay. Um, interesting. Well, I'm kind of happy. There's something happening. We need a new Castellan. Um, we could make it Stannis, I suppose. That would make sense as Hand of the King, wouldn't it? I will assign Stannis. He will take it on from a um, martial point of view. I think, well, is that what we want? Uh, we could have him. What's he good at? He doesn't do it from a stewardship point of view. To increase tax contribution. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, you can be our hand of the king. Our marshal can then be... Um... Yeah, why don't we make it Lord Barristan? That seems good. Seems like a sensible thing for us to do. Can you be switched now? You could. Oh, no, you can't. You can't be fired for another... Uh... Yeah, 12 years. Okay, fair enough. Well, that's all right. Change some things around. A little bit of chaos happening. Love to see it. He's no longer captain of our household guard, I'm guessing because you can't hold both positions at once. In which case, Richard Horps shall be our harbour master, officer of arms, and captain of our household guard. Sure, why not? That sounds good to me. Carnal Comforts. Lisa has been... Um, Devastated ever since her husband John died. She comes to visit me one evening. I feel so lonely, she says, looking at me lo uh, lonely. I remind myself that John was my good friend. You've been so comforting, she says, biting her lips suggestively. John was my friend. I just want to feel something, she whispers, loosening the fastening on the front of her blouse. John was my friend. I'm sure that John would approve. And you know what? Why don't we marry um, Lady Lisa... Uh, Tully. Why, why not? Can we marry her? Wait, can we not offer a marriage here? Do I have to, to arrange marriage through you? Oh, she's widowed. Okay, may not marry until... Yeah. Until that goes away. Fair enough. Uh, that's fine. Preparations for the hunt. The wilderness is calling out to me. It's been too long since I last hunted. Out there in the plains of King's Landing, there are plenty of powerful wolves. One of those would do well on my dinner table tonight. Oh, wow. Something is missing, though. Are my hunting spears too old or dull, or is it a companion I lack? I should make sure I prepare well. Um, What I have is enough. I think that's fine. 
And it does mean that we can do a hunt for free. Oh no, sure, let's go on a hunt. Why not? It's free. Uh, let's see how this goes. Rood Vassal. Just as my master of ships, Lord Wendemir, started to dismount, one foot still in the stirrup, my gullible vassal, Lord Renfred, made sure to bump into the horse, sending him stumbling across camp. I would say you're acting like a child, you should be punished like one. There's no way for a lord to act. Or Wendemir has gone red as a beet. Yeah, we'll laugh. Okay. The Puppeter. A bravosi puppeteer, or puppeteer has arrived at my court. Uh, my master of coin, having heard talk of his talent among the local small folk, decided to invite him to put on a show for my household. The puppet show was entertaining. The puppeter put on several performances for my household. Some were light and comical, while others had a darker tone. All in all, I greatly enjoyed myself. Okay, that's fine. Uh, one thing I want to do right now is, I noticed it while we were looking at uh, Liza Aaron. I want to just have a look at um, our realm. And then let's do some sorting here. Looking for men who are adults, who are unmarried. Um, then we're looking for people who have, I guess, high martial maybe. Oh, and they have to not be a ruler. Not ruler. And then we're just going to look through and see if we can find anybody with reasonable prowess who we want to join our king's guard. Because we have this option... Oh, oh, we had an op. Yeah, we have this option here. Invite to your King's Guard. So let's see if we can find somebody good. Could go for an Ironborn in our King's Guard. We haven't we haven't had one of those yet. I think. Yeah. You know what? Oh, I can't invite them to our King's Guard. Interesting. Do you accept an invite to court? Uh, if you liked me, maybe. Yeah. Let's invite this guy to court. Tom Seabury. You want to be in my King's Guard? 9% chance. Your gods are wrong. Well, that's fair. That's fair. Education is at an end. My ward, Lady Paramount uh, Aragel, has come of age and it's time she left her care. With sufficient tutelage, even a child that displayed little natural inclination towards administration, such as Aragel, can come to truly understand it. Not content with understanding the flow of wealth and people, she seems capable of predicting it as if by instinct. She always finds new ways of profiting too. She's Midas touched. That's not bad. Uh, I shan't devote my life to serving your queer and blathering gods. Well, that's fair. Given that it's connected to our faith, I wonder whether that's the way that we get rid of the Kingsguard in the same way. Um, I'm just seeing if there's an option in here that makes sense for getting rid of Kingsguard. Uh, because it must be tied to our faith then. I don't know. I don't know. Let me try and create a new faith of the seven. To see what we can change. Um. Yeah, no, none of that makes sense for changing. Uh, this is all fine. Yeah, this is all fine. I don't think any of this matters. Yeah, okay. I can't see an obvious thing in there, but I thought I'd just double check it while we were uh, in the area. Right, let's see if we can find somebody else then. So, Ironborn are out. We can't get Ironborn in here for obvious reasons, apparently. Otomir uh, Saf uh, Safford, maybe? See who we can find. He might be the best person that we have. Oh, how about this guy? Bravosi. That's kind of interesting. Isambaro Nestoris. You can't be a member of the King's Guard. Oh, because you're a member of an order? Oh, you're a member of a holy order. Well, never mind then. Keep going down the list. Uh, I think we might be best at the top of the list. Maybe the ones they brought us were the best available. All right, let's head up here. So how about you? How would you, you, you would 100% say yes. Right, let's invite Ottermore in here. Ottermore is now a member of our King's Guard. Wonderful. Um, that's fine. And then he has no family to do the next event. That's okay. Right, we now have uh, back to our full complement of six members of the King's Guard. Uh, because we still can't put in anyone into this one. 
I'm assuming that we can't manually put in anyone as well. Let me double check. Oh wait, no we can. Oh, we can still put more people in? Let, let me try and get uh, Marek Nightwick in here then. Maybe Barristan did leave our King's Guard then. Hey, okay, so that now means that our King's Guard is now back to full. Let me just test something else. I'm assuming we can't just keep inviting people. No. Okay. Ah, so Barristan did leave our King's Guard. He just left with the armor. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit weird, but that does make a level of sense. Okay. Well, that's fine then. Yeah, we fixed it. It wasn't really broken, but we fixed it, I think. <laughs> well, that's fine. Um, Lord Lewis. No, I'm not going to pay for your set. I should really just say no to people. Um, you're really, really good at uh, stewardship. You're not quite as good as Tywin, but I was wondering whether if I want to see a war against us, maybe it's time to just make Tywin really mad. You know what? Maybe. Maybe we do just replace him. You're fired, Tywin. What we're going to do is we're going to deliberately just annoy him and see what happens, right? What happens if we make a vassal truly hate us? Can we get some kind of big war going? Just I, to make something happen, honestly. Something interesting. Uh, here. Let's go in here. Warden of the North. That's going to be... Uh, where is she? Oh, does it have to be a man who's Warden of the North? Uh, I believe so. Okay. I was going to say, could we make it her husband? But probably not. Because he's probably unlanded. Yep, okay. Because I think everybody in that list was also landed. Assuming that I don't have any... Yeah, I have no filters on. Okay, well, how about instead I make the Warden of the North... Um, Where are we? I saw him in here somewhere. Mr. T uh, the Tully. Yeah, there we go. Let's make it uh, her grandfather... Yeah, we'll make it our grandfather. That's fine then. So then all those positions are filled. Cool. We still got a few extra ones that we could fill over time, but that's okay. Right, we'll let time move on. Let's see what happens. The lure of language. Would like me to speak High Valyrian? No. The baker's cart. Um, I think we've had this one a few times, haven't we? Um... Yeah, I'm fairly certain we've had this exact... Yeah, we've had this exact one before. That's fine. Uh, what do you want? You want me to sponsor priests? Um, sure, I'll pay money towards your priest problem. We did before, so we'll do it again. That's fine. Oh, did you ever actually finish converting that land? No, oh, you're still working on it. That's fine. Three years until that one finishes. Okay. Cool. Um, you want to pay homage. Well, thank you for the 15 golds. Really appreciate it. Um, ooh, the Lady Paramount has come to our court to pay homage. Fantastic. Court grandeur went up. You've discovered a secret. Lord uh, Renifer's or Lord Renifer's non-believer secret. Okay. Cool. Level of fame went up. You can get a guardian for Cersei. A very unfortunate name at this point. Um, you know what, we'll leave her with an intrigue education, why not? And she can be educated by... Oh, no, we have to do it this way. Uh, genius, intrigue... Oh! Varys is just hanging around. Why don't you join our court, Varys? There we go, that seems good. Then why don't you um, educate my daughter Cersei? Yeah, sure. He's also incredible at intrigue. If I could have him as our um, Master of Whisperers, that would be great. Still can't replace this person, but you know. He would be great in that role. Okay, interesting. Um, wait, offer knighthood? You would accept being a knight? Uh, I don't think we need to do that, but that's still interesting that you can. Okay. Uh, we can hold the Grand Tourney. Don't see any reason to do that right now. So, we'll chill. Let time actually progress, which is something that we need to actually do if we want things to continue. Well, I suppose we'll compete in the Tourney. Why not? Why not? We're in the tur Tourney of Stone Dance. Did we make it through the preliminary rounds? 
Uh, you would like to talk about Dragon Mount. Okay. Lord Barriston thinks he can do a better job than Lord Barriston. What? Um. Um. I, I, yeah, I, I guess so. Why don't you pay me 50 gold? He said no. Well, that's fine. Whatever. Thank you for uh, the 75 gold, Paramount Pierce. Um, we have got through the preliminary rounds. Wonderful. Are we going to win anything else? It's us versus Lord Rickard Stillman. Okay. Wow. Everybody got the sword in their portrait. Um, let's go and do that. What do you want to do? You want to be on your, my council? No, go away. Uh, the weight of a mountain slams into my chest. Uh, we managed to stay on our horse. Um, we have knocked him over. He has gone into the dirt. Wonderful. We have prevailed. Once again. Well done, us. Master Allard is next. We should beat him. Okay. We're still on our horse. We've been hit. We're still on our horse. We've been hit. We're still on our horse. Um, we have knocked him over. He is in the dirt. Wonderful. We have defeated Master Allard. Lord Galadon. Okay. Is against us. Galadon Tarth. Well, we will uh, fight him. We've been hit. We're still alive. Um, oh, no, we aren't. We fell off. Never mind. Galadon prevailed. I think Galadon won as well. Oh, Lord Hubbard won. Oh, okay. Well, cool. That's fine. It seems like the events for the Joust are pretty much the same every single time. So we may leave it going forward. Don't know. Uh, you have something you would like to ta talk to me about. You want me to dismantle the Liberty Faction. Um, I will not fight your battles for you. That's fine. A little language. Greetings, my perceptive king, Varys says, widening his stance. I'm very interested in the upbringing of your son, Jason. You see, I speak Valerian, a language I believe would be most useful for him to learn. I just need coin for quills, ink, parchment, and some personal compensation, of course. Do we want him to learn Valerian? Um, you know what? Sure, why not? He can learn it. We're not going to learn it, but he can learn it. And then with that, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.